What's up everyone, my name is Cinekill and welcome to my let's play of Super Mario 64. Today we're going to be continuing our Power Star search and hoping to gain access to basically the next Bowser area. Now I mean technically we already have enough stars to go ahead and access it, but we're just going to be gaining a whole bunch more stars. Today we're going to be going through this lovely world right here, which judging by the painting looks to be a very big fiery mess. So let's jump on in and let's see what kind of a mess we're going to get. And judging by my notes on this one, it looks like we're going to be doing this one in order. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one on one with a fiery finish for the loser. There you go. That's your description for this one. And that does kind of come into effect for this world because we're going to be dealing with these things right here where the only way you can actually kill them is by getting them into the lava and it's a lot easier said than done i will say there we go got him down and that yields us one coin pretty simple right but that's not where our first star is our first star is actually heading off over here and as you can tell the eight red coins are just chilling here we'll get to those in a minute our first star though we're gonna cross this wooden bridge which Makes zero sense for fire, I will say. And I am going to show you what happens when you hit lava, trust me. I will hit it, not on purpose, but on accident. Just because I always do it. But this is the guy that we got to take care of to get our first star of the world. There we go. Get him down, the star appears. Pretty simple, right? Now these platforms do go away, so be very gentle with your jumps. And there you go. Your star is done. Most of the stars in this course or world are going to be fairly quick. Yeah, be prepared because it's not going to take very long at all to get through this one. Bully the Bullies. This one is actually pretty cool. I like this one as well. It's basically the same as the first one, except we got to take care of three little ones before we get to a bigger one. And I'm going to show you. Well, don't do what I just did. That's actually exactly what happens if you hit the fire. Oh, I just did it again. You take three damage and you plop up like that. So be very gentle when you do that. And I'm going to do it again just to get up here. Trying to take care of all three of these are very difficult sometimes. Well, I wasn't really wanting to do that. There's one. That's two. Well, this other one does not want to actually go. There we go. That's the third one down. And then the big bully appears once again. At least the big one is stupidly easy to get. Because he's got a bigger hitbox than the smaller one. So there we go. He goes down. And then our star appears. Pretty easy star to get to, I will say. Pretty easy to do and pretty easy to get to. Honestly, the stars in this course are easy to get to. You just got to be very cautious of the lava in the areas. Once you get cautious of that, you're not too worried about it. So the 15 coin puzzle. I'm actually going to take a shorter way to get to there. I may take a little bit of damage. Nope, I actually did not. Yeah, well, I am going to take a little damage right here. But I took a little shorter way to get here. Just so I can... Well, Kinda one cycle this. I didn't one cycle it though. It's five, six, eight, seven, you know, counting. It's hard, but that is how you do it. I am not doing the hundred coins with the red coins this time. That is actually coming up on another star because we need to be on a different star to be able to get it. We actually have to go into a volcano in order to do it. Bear with it. We'll do that one later. This one. This one is not a fun one. I'm going to show you the quick way. And then I'm also going to go back in and show you the developer intended way. I'm going to... This is the quick way. <laughs> Grab the red ring cap. Red wing cap. Wow. I can talk. Grab it. We're going to fly. I'm going to fly over here, you know. You don't really have to... Well... Or you can do what I'm doing, I guess. I'm just gonna run over to here. One, two, three. You gotta just triple jump up. And then I'm gonna fly over here. This is where the star is, actually. This is star number four. That's the easiest way to get to that star. Now, I'm actually gonna show you the developer intended way to get to that star. 
All right, so back in, we're gonna actually go back to that area without the red cap. And I'm not a big fan of this way. In fact, I hate it. It kind of sucks, honestly, because there is the possibility of you falling off. So you jump on this metal crate and you have to watch out for the fire because if you hit that fire, it's just gonna like randomly move you around. So you just gotta be very careful with it. Be gentle with your movements. And now that you're here, jump up to here, jump onto the wooden platform. This is where the issue comes into play. You have to be on the right side of it, yes, in order to get this thing rolling the correct way and to get you to jump off to the right side. And then all you have to do is just walk down to the star. And that's an instance of collecting the star once again literally nothing happens you don't your starting count does not increase i didn't even get a high score there i didn't even get a higher coin count so uh, i like phased her into the painting there but that's how you're supposed to do that in developer intended way i'm not a big fan of that one but it is what it is right here we go this is where i'm going to be doing the 100 coin challenge along with this star and more than likely, I'm probably going to fail this at least once. I do have to get the shell. I do have to get it in order to get the 100 coins. There are a whole bunch of coins inside of the volcano. But most of them we're going to be getting out here. Oh, you little thing. I was not expecting that. And yes, we are grabbing these again if it doesn't like plot me off. And the star is going to reappear, don't worry. Let me think about it, that's a quick 16 coins. There's also going to be 5 that plop up here. And then it's just going to go on its merry little way there. And then after that, we're kind of just going to go back and go ahead and grab that shell. I had to think about that for a minute. Ooh, that was close. Oh, well, I was trying. There, ask her it. Well, that happened. And that's an instance of getting burned wire on the ground. Yes, it sucks. Now we're on the shell. The shell allows you to actually go on the lava as long as you don't lose it. If you lose it, you're slightly stuck. <laughs> okay, those coins are all right. We're just trying to collect the coins that you typically are not supposed to be able to get normally. But, but. But, I mean, you know, you can get this coin, but it's just easier to get it with the shell. I'm also grabbing a whole bunch of one-ups while we're at it. Oh, well, there's one right there, too. Oh, I didn't grab it. Hello. I can't see. The camera does not help you at all with this. There's also another one of these dudes here. All you have to do is run in a circle, and he dies and gives you a five coin. Problem is actually trying to grab it. There we go. So 67, that's not bad, but it's not perfect. We need a little bit more. Um, there's some coins up here. And the th best part about it is the shell actually does not break when you hit these enemies. All right, that's 80. I think that should be pretty much enough. Let me grab these three from here. One, two, three. And if I'm thinking correctly, that should be it. Well, I just lost the shell. Oh, okay. That's definitely not good. <laughs> I have to get over to that volcano now somehow without taking another hit of damage from these things. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Or not. Well, let's do that 100 coins again then, shall we? The best part about this course, honestly, is just the fact that you can rack up massive amounts of 1-ups. You know what? I forgot about these coins right here previously. That's why my coin count was not as high as I wanted it to be. Forgot that 1-up, but that's all right. We don't need that 1-up. We're basically just kind of going the same way that we just did. You know, I'm doing it a little bit quicker this time, actually, I feel like. I'm not going to grab these coins. I'm just trying to grab this one coin. Please let me have it. Thank you. And bye-bye. 
keep up here. Okay, I almost lost it there. Grab these five. Grab these three. Or not. Okay, grab those three. Oops. Oh, those five did not actually spawn. Well, that sucks. Well, we're at 81. There's another five here in just a second. Oop, and of course I would do that. That's fine, though. We actually don't need the shell anymore. We are actually done with the shell, thank goodness. This time I should be able to get into the volcano easily. There we go. 86. 86, we should have about 89, 89 going into the volcano. That's pretty darn good, I feel like. So we're gonna grab these three coins from here, as long as I don't hit that. We're gonna have to wait until it stops erupting. Now you just walk into the volcano. And voila, welcome to the volcano. So there's a whole bunch of coins in here, like literally a whole bunch. In fact, you just follow the coin trail up and it will give you the star for number five. There's 99, 100 will be like right up here. Uh, 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 okay. In fact, I think it's right there is number 100. Yeah, as long as you just follow the coins, it will take you straight to star number five. I just can't believe I actually died trying to get those 100 coin stars. All right, so now one of the big issues with this volcano is this right here. <laughs> Anytime you fall off, you're basically screwed. Now, that's not to say you're completely screwed. As long as you can get back up without taking another hit, you're going to be fine. But just don't fall off again because there's just not enough coins right now. Especially if you've grabbed them all already to get you back up to full. Bump, 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 up, up, up. Okay, I almost went a little bit too far there. There's a coin. So I'm still at one hit and I'm dead. There we go. Now I'm at two hits. And see, here's another five. So I guess there's a lot more coins than I thought were in here. Now we just need to climb up these poles. I am not very good with these poles. I think I'm like off a little bit every single time I do them. And there we go. And our star. All right, and star number six is also within the volcano. We're actually up to 17 lives as well, so that gives me a lot of hope going into this star. Because this is not a very easy star, let me tell you. Oh, okay, I wouldn't do that. That's fine, though. That's fine. We're going to get the three coins. Yeah, we're just going to grab the three coins that are, like, right here outside. That way we can, uh, whoop. I thought I had it. That way we can just go ahead and heal on up. Plus, we've got to wait for it to stop erupting anyways. And yes, if you get hit by this fire, it does damage you. All right. Now here, back inside the volcano, we gotta go the opposite direction for number six. I know, right? It's kind of strange. And we're gonna use this platform elevator. But be very cautious as you're going up. Keep the camera as best as you can behind Mario. Because there's gonna become a point where you have to jump off this and yeah, right here, that you have to jump onto another platform and the platform literally just drops behind, below you. So you just kind of got to go with it. Now you have to jump onto this right here, this little uh, pole. Climb up, but don't climb all the way up because you're going to get burned if you do. Unfortunately, the camera is just not your friend in here. Wait until it goes around a little bit. Up, and then climb up to this second pole right here. Now here's where the tricky part comes into play. Don't go too far up and don't go sh overshooting it. If you do, you're gonna fall into the lava and it's just not a very good time. Once again, you have to be very gentle going up these little platforms and that is the last star in Lethal Lava Land. All right, so that takes care of that course completely and it only took us just a few minutes to actually do. So now we're gonna be doing another special course that is going to give us yet another, basically cap, another block and another cap. And we're gonna be using this cap in the next course. I did not get up there. Well, darn it. Well, <laughs> didn't even get up there. So what you gotta do, 
No, well, sometimes I can do this. There we go. Yeah, you can actually make that. You're not supposed to go that way. There's another way to go. Yeah. I just always go that way. <laughs> yeah, so we just want to swim down here. And you're basically near the outside of the castle. These little two platforms right here, they're kind of pillar-ish. Well, pff, or I'm just going to fall off them, apparently. Yeah. Ground pound these little pillar-ish things. Boom, boom. A little jingle place. Now we're going to go outside the castle. And as you can tell, the water is completely drained from in here. If you want to try and get those two coins, be my guest. I have yet to figure out how to get them. But we're going right here to this little opening in the ground. And this is where we're going to get our next cap. Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch Course. All of the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step on the cap switch. You'll disappear when you step on the Vanish Cap, so you'll be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out! Yes, this is the Vanish Cap, and we need it for the next big stage coming up. And of course, there are red coins in here. Please be gentle as you go down. If you miss one, you're basically done. But I'm just gonna like jump off. And yes, I'm taking damage. I don't care. That's a one up. Uh, we'll take the one up. Well, we'll take the one up. I mean, one ups are nice. I can't see. It's like I can't see below me, actually. There we go. Okay, that's three, and then four is right here, thankfully. Now, if you fall off this course, it'll just put you right outside the moat, so it's fine. You can you can retry it as many times as you wish. All right, so we got to the bottom. That's all the coins that were on top. Now, we gotta go around to this side, be careful of all these stupid flames. Go up here, just kind of follow along until we get to this area. Now, this is where the other four red coins are. And this is where they get a little bit difficult. There's five. Oh, I'm going to have to wait. Darn it. I didn't wait long enough. Oh, that's six. All right, well, I waited long enough, I guess. Is that going to flip? Oh, that's going to flip. That's flipping. Oh, I messed up. Darn it. And like I said, it just puts you right here into the moat. So it's not like you don't get an extra try. So let's try again. And you don't lose a life whenever you do it. So don't worry. I think I'm not in the right spot. I did not get in the right spot. Well, we slide on down and just have a good old time. Oh, I did it again. Darn it. I think there actually is a way to get back up. Yeah, actually, I think there is actually a way to get back up. Oh, look at that. You can actually get back up. Wow. Oh, well, I lost my rhythm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no. Well, okay, I've lost my rhythm. We, we. Okay, attempt number, I don't know, I've lost count now. <laughs> Perfect! Alright, so we got all four red coins here. No, do not hit me. Okay, good. I got a little worried there. Got a little bit worried there. We're gonna try this again. That's fine. Uh, that's six. No! This is a very difficult course to get through, I promise. And if you want to just go through, hit the blue block, and then go on and come back to this course, you are perfectly fine to do that. But I'm going to actually try and get this course done. You know, when they say let's play cursing, let me tell you, it is a legit thing. Because whenever I'm practicing this, I did this flawlessly. Like, I did this on the first try. I knew what I was doing. Like, it was perfect. No! Oh, 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 oh. That could have been bad. Oh my god, we're safe. Oh my god, we did it. That's it, and that's it. Yeah. Here's the other eight red coin. There's the star inside of a gate. We'll get it here in just a second. Step on the blue switch. And the sad part is you can actually hang on to it for an infinite amount of times. And yeah, there you go. You just stepped on the vanish cap switch. The vanish cap makes Mario disappear. Now, Vanish Cups will pop from all of the blue blocks you find. Would you like to say Yes. All right. So, these lovely blue blocks right here are the Vanish Caps. And basically, when Mario goes into this, like, Piscalesque area, that's what it means. And you can go through these, like, little gates like this. And now, we get our Star from out of this area. And yes, we do need that 
vanish cap in order to go through the next course. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and get it now. Because I wanted to go ahead and get it. Whoop! And we're just going to bang our head into the wall. You wonder how Mario is not mentally disabled due to all the head concussions he's gotten. <laughs> wow! I actually cannot believe that I took damage from that. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I was not expecting that. <laughs> So we are going to go ahead and get started on the next course. I do not think we're going to finish the course on this episode, but we're going to get as far as we can in it. It is a pretty fun course. I do enjoy playing through it. And it looks like my notes, we're not going to do the full run of one through six on it. It looks like we're going to jump around a little bit on it. So this is going to be Big Boo's Haunt. What we need to do is ground pound the big boo in order to release the area that we need to go into. This is big boo's haunt. Go on a ghost hunt. We have to do this one in order for us to actually be able to do the rest of the course of big boo's haunt. And so what we're gonna be doing is going through the entire first floor, killing boos. And of course, you gotta watch out for these. Haha. Haha. -ha. To kill the booze, all you have to do is ground pound when you're not facing them. Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? I was gonna do it again. And that message will pop up every single time you kill one. There's two in this room. Also, notice that there's red coins. We'll get those later. In fact, I think that's what the next star is that we're gonna be doing is the red coins and 100 coins together. Another thing to note is every single time you kill a boo, you get five coins. So it's a pretty nifty little thing, you know? And yeah, oh, this boo is being a meanie butt. There we go. He was being a meanie butt. And yeah, you can drop down there. It does not kill you. It just takes you to the lower floors is all it does. Boo! Here comes the master of mischief. The Tower of Terror, the Big Boo! <laughs> and so that means that our mini boss, in a way, is here. This is Big Boo! All we have to do is ground pound him three times when we're not facing him, and he gives up the star. But it also means that these will now plop up, giving us access to the second floor. All right, now to get back in, we have to do the same thing again with the Big Boo. We have to actually keep ground pounding him in order to get inside and then jump and boom, you get inside. We're not going to be doing this course just yet. This one, I I really want to wait on it because it's not, it's not my favorite in all honesty. Yeah, this is the red coins. I had to think there for a minute. I'm like, we're doing the hundreds, so which means I know it's hundreds and red coins. My notes, I only have the star number. I don't actually have like the star name. I should have put the star name on it, but that's okay. First two red coins. Also the first red coin was behind that piano. The second one is up there. Third one is right up here. Boom, done. Also, we gotta wait for these boos to come out or we could use the vanish cap to go inside. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to use the vanish cap to go inside because I'm tired of waiting on them. And now that at least the message doesn't pop up that says, Oh my God, you know, the things they can't die. <laughs> there we go. And this guy right here will give us five as well. It's very, very easy to get the, the 100 coin star in this particular course just because of all of the blue coins that you can get from the booze. And I chose that door for a reason. Oh, I was close enough. Okay. Because I'm going to go over here. Okay, I didn't want to fall yet. And grab this boo here. That way I can just go back. I don't want to have to cross that bridge. I don't like crossing that bridge. Me and that bridge, it's finicky sometimes for me. And so it doesn't always work. So I just don't really like crossing it all the time. Now, we're going to go up to the second floor. And this is where some things happen. Let me tell you. Uh, I don't think I want to go in here. Because uh, there is... I was going to say that there's actually a star. This will be for the next star, actually, that we're going to be doing in order. So don't worry. Red coin in here, though. Let's grab that. I jumped down. Thankfully, getting back up is not hard. <laughs> Trying to triple jump. Didn't want me to. Let's go in here, though. 
And here we get yet another one of these eyeball looking things. Oh my god, he does not want to trigger. There we go. He did not want to trigger onto me for some reason. So yet another five coins. We'll always take five coins. Now on these, they'll lift up revealing, I think there's two red coins in here. Or you'll get squished because that's exactly what just happened to me. And I don't think this one's got anything. Nope, okay. Seven red coins, where's the eighth? There's another door right here, and this is where the final red coin actually is. But make sure you get those dead. Aw, oh, you have to actually hit them. Otherwise, you cannot get the five coins. And this is where the last red coin is. The star, we're going to go get it eventually. It's on the second floor, but we want to go up here. And this is one of the hardest jumps to make. Oh, there, I made it. Made it about the second try, so that's good. Got to jump up here. There's a blue switch here. I think this is 20 coins. Yeah, this is 20 coins. Might as well grab those coins. We're going to have to come over here on for star. Oh, hello. I see you. Grab him for five coins. That'll be star number six, which we're going to be doing later. For now, though, actually, the red coin star, you kind of just caught a glimpse of it. Slide right over there. The rest of the coins, though, we're going to get right out here. I guess we could have just done all the coins out here, but it's like, eh. Because I wanted to see exactly how many you can actually get from inside the house. Plus, really, the sound effect is kind of annoying sometimes. Three more coins. Oh, where's the other one? There it is. I just need three more coins after this. And I think this is just a one-up. Oh, no, that's just coins. Okay, cool. That's got a bunch of coins in it. I didn't realize it had coins in it. Now, let's go get our red coin star, and we'll be done. You can go in here, but it's not that uh, it's not ideal to go in there it actually takes you to the basement if i remember correctly i always prefer to go in from here i know it actually doesn't make sense for that door to actually take you to the basement but it does actually and here is our red coin star and i will tell you right now we have made up for a lot of stars we're up to 46 stars oh i actually read my notes it does say 100 and red coins <laughs> Uh, I can read my notes. Now, it's my notes do say to do this star next. So we're going to go into this door here. I kind of showed you this room last time. And so what we want to do, these three lovely books plopping out. What you got to do is actually hit them in the correct order to make this wall right here open. And the order is simple. At middle, right, left. And the wall opens to a door and to a star. And that was star number three. That is literally how star number three becomes done. And I just realized how easy, oh no, actually I think that's star number five. I don't know. I don't remember what stars or what. I just have their numbers on here. Yeah, that was star number three, okay. <laughs> now I know which star is next. This one is actually pretty cool. I like the star, but you gotta be pretty darn fast with your jumps on this one because otherwise you won't be able to do it very efficiently. Knock these guys out. You don't need the coins, thankfully. So if you want to just leave them there, go out here, grab your vanish cap. Now remember, you are on a limited time, so be very quick about this. It's also very hard. You have to wall jump up. You have to wall jump up. You have to wall jump up. I said, oh, well, I lost my vanish cap. Like I said, you are on a very strict time limit. You have to have the vanish cap for the star, by the way. Wall jump. There we go. Wall jump up here. Quickly, 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 quickly. Go through here into here. Run around this thing until it triggers onto you. There we go. It's got to aggro onto you. And once it does this, boop, a star. That was star number six, by the way. Th the hardest part is just getting that wall jump because sometimes the wall jumps are super, super finicky. Also, if you need some health, these booths here in the, in the yard, the courtyard, they actually have a coin. So if you need coins, they've got coins for you. And I also love the fact that they are also stuck and they do not move. <laughs> they are stuck and do not move. I don't know why they are stuck, but they are stuck. <laughs> I think they are stuck until you get close enough to them. 
that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit up that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime a new video goes live. And always hit up that thumbs up, letting me know that you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you next time.